So, hello again. I hope uh, that this live stream works again. I hope that all of you are able to hear me. Uh, so, um, yeah, welcome again to another um, microscopy live stream here. Um, and uh, today um, I'd like uh, to make uh, a few permanent, uh, permanently mounted slides. And uh, um, I would like to encourage you also um, to maybe leave uh, some comments behind in the chat. Um, I did receive uh, last week a comment uh, by one of my viewers who basically said that uh, the live stream sometimes uh, is interrupted. It's not quite smooth. Uh, so um, yeah, maybe uh, if there are some transmission problems, maybe you can also uh, please quickly write this into the form, uh, forum or um, into, um, yeah, into the comments uh, later on so that uh, if the transmission is a problem so that I can uh, make some adjustments. But I hope that it works reasonably well. Um, yeah, and uh, hi, hi, the first uh, comment here um, already. Well, um, yes, uh, today I'd like uh, to make um, um, some permanently mounted slides and I would like uh, to show you three different uh, mounting media. Um, that I've got here. So um, I've got some of the things set up here. And uh, I'd like, uh, before I start making some permanently mounted slides, I want to talk a little bit um, yeah, about some background and some theory here. And for this uh, reason, I'm going to, again, uh, clear everything away. Yeah, here are some, some fresh slides, um, some, some of the specimens that I'd like to mount. And I also prepared uh, using PowerPoint. Um, I use PowerPoint. I prepared also some, some slide labels here yeah, that uh, I can then later on glue uh, yeah, on, on the slide. Okay, so more on that later. Um, I'd like to talk first um, about the mounting media. Okay, um, so the mounting media, I've uh, prepared three of them here. Well, actually there are four, but there are three different kinds. And I'd like uh, to go through them um, a little bit. Well, uh, those of you who uh, have already watched some of my uh, yeah, videos in the main uh, YouTube channel, they know that I really like to use uh, the mounting medium u -Pearl quite a lot. Um, yeah, it's a, a pretty, uh, pretty uh, good one, actually, I would say, but a little bit difficult to obtain. So some people actually wrote me emails and said this, they want to buy u -Pearl, but they have difficulty obtaining it. Yes, it can be bought. You have to contact chemical supplies companies um, it is sold, um, however, it's not always quite cheap. Okay, so that's a little bit of a somewhat of a disadvantage. Um, but um, I like uh, Uprol a lot as a mounting medium because uh, uh, the specimen can be transferred into the Uprol from alcohol. So if you've got a specimen which is in alcohol, for example, tiny insects uh, um, and uh, or tiny mites, I'll be mounting some mites today, then they can be transferred directly from the alcohol into Uprol. Um, or you can, of course, I've also done this before, you can just take the dry sample and then also put it into your pearl. Yeah, yes, hello um, as well. Maybe some of you are, yeah, I got some hellos here. Uh, welcome. Um, and uh, if some people are just joining right now, I'm, I'm just starting off and I'm going to talk today about making permanently mounted slides. And I'm just here with the first mounting medium that I'd like to use, Uprol. Um, I also want to say that every mounting medium has certain advantages and disadvantages. So there's no perfect one. And uh, which mounting medium should you use? Well, strictly speaking, the correct answer would be it depends on the specimen, okay? The mounting media and the specimen, they have to be compatible to each other. And this is why I'm going to show um, some of the, I'm going to give you a couple of examples here. So Upro, very nice uh, to use, uh, convenient to use. Uh, disadvantage also, it takes around six weeks to dry. So if you make make a slide using Uprol, you have to store it horizontally for about six weeks. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be completely dry. And if you uh, put the slide uh, um, yeah, vertically, then of course, uh, the slide, uh, the cover glass uh, is, is going to fall off and it's going to run down. Okay, Uprol is very commonly used by people who are um, so-called entomologists. Entomologists are people who study insects um, and other arthropods like spiders and so on. Um, and uh, Uprol is the mounting medium of choice if you want to mount tiny arthropods like insects, mites, I'll be mounting a mite, some mites today, and tiny spiders and so on. Um, there's a reason why, because Uprol has a the, 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 the tendency to clear and to brighten up the specimen. It's, it's a really nice, uh, um, nice thing that I'd like to show you later on. So Uprol, nice to use, a little bit expensive, difficult to obtain. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, and it can be diluted in regular alcohol. So um, here, not uh, quite a different one. U kit, U kit. Um, 
also a mounting medium. And this U-kit uh, mounting medium um, is a very, very common one. It's a general purpose mounting medium, um, but has a couple of disadvantages and a couple of advantages, okay? Disadvantages first. The disadvantage is, is that the specimen that you mount must be completely free of alcohol and free of water. So this means the specimen has to be completely dehydrated. You can do that with alcohol. The alcohol will remove the water. But then you have to transfer it um, into um, so-called a, a solvent called xylene. And this xylene will also remove the alcohol, and this xylene will, yeah, also is not healthy. Okay, so a U kit um, actually um, is not recommended uh, for, yeah, for children. Obviously, for example, if you want to do this in the school, if you're a teacher and you want to mount uh, things, don't use U kit. You need ventilation. I'll be using it in any case. Yeah, I have to open the window then. Um, but an advantage of U kit is it's fast drying. That's a big advantage, and it has very uh, good long term. The slides are able to yeah, store for very long, yeah, for very long, um, and provided that the specimen has been properly prepared and is completely dry. Okay, so this is uh, um, one of the things here. Yeah, so U kit um, is a um, quite a well known one. It's also used, um, for example, for when you're preparing slides, um, histological slides. So yeah. Um, and uh, it's also used for automatic mounting, for example, in hospitals, what they do sometimes they have uh, um, yeah, machines that will mount actually slides for you and you kit is also used here. Okay, so yeah, very long, good long term um, durability, but uh, not healthy because of the solvent involved. Okay, and uh, yeah, you cannot transfer from alcohol directly, it has to be um, actually in xylene. Okay, so the next one, and this is now going to be a little bit of a surprise uh, to some of you, maybe. And this uh, was actually a, also a recommendation by one of my viewers, and I tried it out and said, I cannot believe this. Look at this here it's glue. This is a water based glue, and it is a so called a PVA glue, polyvinyl acetate or polyvinyl alcohol. And this also works as a mounting medium and actually surprisingly well. Um, there are official mounting media that contain the same substance. Um, so, yeah, it, it's actually proven in, in that sense. Advantage it is water based, uh, so the specimen does not have to be completely dry. That's uh, one, one advantage. And um, the, yeah, um, and the other advantage is it's ridiculously cheap. It's really, it, it's absolutely cheap. And um, some um, of my, um, yeah, and I've, I've been doing a little bit of research. And as a matter of fact, it's been recommended by other microscopists. And for some microscopists, this is actually has become the most favorite general purpose mounting medium. Yeah, uh, so it's not suitable for some things. Maybe for insects, you probably are still going to be better off using Uperol because it has this clearing tendency, the brightening tendency. But yeah, if you have nothing special to mount, if you just want to experiment around and if you just want to make your slides, um, yeah, th this is the one to go. Honestly, um, I'm actually surprised myself. Now, there are certain variations of this and some people, what they're doing is, is they're mixing in into the, um, the glue, they're mixing in glycerin. Uh, to adjust the refractive index. So there are, if you do a little bit of online research, you will find recipes that actually tell you that you should use 70% of this PVA glue and about 30% glycerin. I tried doing that, but I think it might have been a little bit too much glycerin that I used because it didn't completely turn hard. It was very sticky, but it didn't turn hard. Um, so there are some, yeah, variations uh, to this here and um, I actually would say that if you want to uh, get your toes wet a little bit with uh, making permanently mounted slides and you have difficulty obtaining those uh, official the, 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 I don't not, I wouldn't say official ones but the the the, 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 the traditional uh, mounting media then then go with uh, with a PVA glue okay um, I know in other countries uh, yeah here this one is a, is a German uh, brand here it's also water based so I suppose it's even the same um, and the uh, um, same same substance I tried it out also works yeah so it's uh, the water based glues now there are certain other glues I don't know if I have it in the drawer right now I have to reach down yep um, at least in the place where I live okay um, yeah uh, glue and glycerin somebody already commented wow I'm going to try glue and glycerin thank you for the information yes um, and please uh, you got to ex you have to experiment a little bit okay um, because I added too much glycerin and it did not solid solidify it didn't turn hard yeah, so this might be um, an issue and uh, yeah, but I used pure glue and it worked as well and I'm going to show you. 
Now, what I've also done is, is I tried to use this uh, type of glue. I think it is, um, I don't know what substance it is. It could be nitrocellulose, yeah, I don't know. And this one can be diluted with acetone. Um, I've also tried this um, and uh, it kind of also works a little bit uh, to use this glue, uh, which contains a solvent. But the problem is, is that there is sometimes a lot of shrinking going on, okay? So um, you have to experiment around a little bit um, um, as well. And I found um, out that it also makes a little bit some bubbles and, and, and some, um, uh, some clouding. So I was not very um, successful using this kind of glue, which uh, actually has a solvent. But maybe I simply didn't uh, do it the right way, yeah? Um, but there are also water-based ones, which you might want to try. And something that I don't have here, but also something that I recommend that you try, which also has been done in, in research, is, is to use clear nail polish, okay? So the stuff that you put on your finger, that ladies put on their fing fingernails, um, the, the clear one, okay? The transparent one. Clear nail polish um, is actually, or has been used as well um, and uh, um, to make certain mounts. Also, I found it has a disadvantage that it likes to shrink a lot, okay? Um, so you have to kind of find the correct uh, amount of solvent. Maybe uh, if you have too much solvent, if it's too thin, it's probably gonna shrink more because more of the solvent is going to evaporate. So you have to experiment a little bit, maybe thicken it in a little bit by allowing some of the solvent to evaporate first, okay? So, so much uh, for the theory um, right now. If you have any questions or any comments, uh, please, of course, uh, um, yeah, um, post them here. But uh, what I'm going to uh, do now is, is I'm going to, uh, before I make a mount, I'm going to actually show you um, under the microscope for a change, um, some mites that I um, essentially uh, mounted in Uperol and also in clear nail polish, which should, not clear nail polish, in, in glue, which should actually um, show you uh, the advantage of Uperol. And there's also a comment right now. Um, I'm gonna read it out here. If I remember correctly, I've heard that pure glycerin can be used as a mounting medium. That is correct, that is correct. Um, um, I could only find info about glycerin being used to make temporary slides. Glycerin um, is uh, too unstable, right? No, I wouldn't say it's too unstable. Um, but the problem is the following, is, is with glycerin, because glycerin, um, you can make permanent mounts using pure glycerin, provided that you seal the cover glass. Okay, so maybe if you watched, some of you watched my um, the video of last week, um, pure glycerin um, is a little bit of an oily substance and it has the possibility to pull out the water from the specimen and this preserves the specimen. Okay, um, and um, what you can do is you can use a tiny amount of this glycerin under the cover glass and then what you do is, is it won't evaporate completely. It won't evaporate because it tries to pull in the moisture from the air, but you can put a nail polish ring around it. And then when you, you have to store the slides horizontally um, all the time because the glycerin remains liquid. And if you store the slide vertically, then the specimen is gonna fall down, okay? Um, but yes, it is possible to use pure, pure glycerin as well. And um, I you don't call them permanent mounts, but kind of semi-permanent mounts, but it is possible, yeah? Um, so for example, people have been using uh, pure glycerin, for example, to mount um, uh, certain like, delicate objects like the pollen of, of plants and so on. Okay, there's another comment here. Um, as we were speaking um, of glue, adhesive tape or taser film can be used in microscopy as an alternative to cover glasses when you want to look at molds, mulches, or similar organisms. Yes, it is possible to use a sticky tape, and um, I've also done this. You can use sticky tape and you can collect dust, for example, and, and pollen and, and spores by putting the sticky surface of the tape um, on top and then the dust will settle down and then you simply reverse the tape and then you put it down on, on, on the slide and that's possible. Um, unfortunately, if you use a sticky tape like this, unfortunately there is the problem that because there is some glue on the tape, of course, that this sometimes might disturb the image quality a little bit. So um, if you want to collect a dust or pollen by the settling method, okay, by by allowing dust and, and pollen and, and, and spores to settle, then I recommend that you simply place a yeah, blank, uh, yeah, blank, uh, let me put, put it down here, 
put a blank slide somewhere on the top of your, I don't know, cupboard, you allow the pollen, not the pollen, yeah, the pollen and the dust and the dirt and the dust to settle. And when you've got a thin layer of dust, then you can always put a drop of mounting medium on top of it in the cover glass. And this also works, okay? What is Canada balsam used for? My new microscope included it, but offered no explanation. Okay, Canada balsam. Canada balsam is a mounting medium which has been used uh, traditionally um, a lot. Okay, and Canada balsam has the big advantage that it is has a very good long term. A storability. So if you make slides using Canada balsam and if you prepare everything properly, then the slides are going to store a hundred years. Okay. That's the cool, cool thing about Canada balsam. Big disadvantage of Canada balsam. It's not used widely these days, difficult to obtain, and the specimen must be completely dry. And this means you have to again, place it into an alcohol series. This means you got to put the specimen into pure alcohol, um, ethanol usually, or some people call it rubbing alcohol. Then you have to transfer it to isopropanol, which is a different type of alcohol, which contains even less water. And then you have to transfer to xylene, which is a not such a healthy solvent. And from the xylene, you leave it in there a few days, you can then transfer it into Canada balsam. Um, and then um, you have to let it dry again for a couple of weeks. And then if you've done everything properly, then you've got a, a slide, which hopefully is able to store for 100 years. But because Canada balsam is um, kind of difficult to obtain, for this reason, other more modern mounting media like UKIT and so on um, started to, to replace those, okay? Um, yeah, sticky tape also works with skin mites. So you're shown, yes, you can put the sticky tape on, on your forehead. I've made videos um, of this before. But let's uh, start to make a few, uh, a few mounts here, okay? So Canada balsam, yes, uh, my new microscope included Canada balsam, but offered no explanation. Wow. Okay, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Please, just, just one, please, just one important comment. Um, I, I know that I'm, you're probably not going to do this mistake, but uh, I'm a teacher, okay? Um, when I in, teach also microscopy to my students, and sometimes the students, they're confusing mounting media with immersion oil. Oh my gosh, okay, uh, please. Uh, so for this reason, we've actually removed all of the mounting media and immersion oils uh, from our lab so that students don't uh, confuse those, okay? Yeah, um, so, ah, the same watch, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, um, so let me start uh, to make um, if you no, I'm going to show you first. Okay, I'm going to show you first why the choice of mounting medium is so important. Um, maybe some of you have already watched my video that I put online in my main channel today, where I put some mites, varroa mites under the microscope. Okay, um, and um, yeah, I've got some of these Varroa mites over here, but they're mounted in different mounting media, okay? So this one over here, these two mites here are mounted in glue. This one over here, water-based mounting medium. Okay, let's have a look at this. And then those uh, five mites over here have been mounted in Uperol, which is the medium of choice uh, for uh, small insects, small mites, small arthropods, okay? So what is the difference? And I'm going to show you now why people uh, who are studying uh, those animals, why they still prefer Uperol, okay? So, but let's use, I'm gonna show you the one with the glue first. So I'm going to uh, put the microscope view on here. Let's turn up the light a little bit here. And I'm going to put the slide in here. Okay, and uh, let's see where it is, where, where is it? Okay, here it is. Okay, it's out of focus. So this is a Varroa mite, okay? And those varroa mites, they um, really are a big problem for, the, for bees, uh, for beehives, because they suck on the bee and then the bees die off and you have a problem, okay? Um, I explained this stuff in my, in my other video. But just look at it, how the mite looks like. This, by the way, is now the, um, the, hundred, or the, the 10 times microscope uh, objective, okay? So it, the magnification is uh, fairly low, okay? Um, and just look, uh, and it is mounted now in glue. Okay, that's the water-based mounting medium glue. Okay, and you see, okay, it looks kind of reasonable. Okay, um, you, I can switch over to dark field um, if, yeah, but I'll not do that now. Okay, no, but why not? I'm just gonna, this is now the four times. Let me swing out the condenser here a little bit so that you just see, um, yeah. Um, and you see, this is basically how it looks like, okay? 
And uh, in dark field, let me quickly flip the filter around. It's too much. Yeah, and I have to open it. No, wrong. This is the wrong one. Why does this not work? Uh, this is kind of weird. I got some settings messed up here. Okay. Okay, you know what, I'll just leave it as it is. But you get the idea. Um, uh, and just look how, how, how bright or how dark it looks, okay? And now I'm going to show you how the mites look like, the mites that were mounted now in, in Upro, okay? So I'm gonna put this in as, as well. And now have a look at the Upro mites. I'm gonna flip this over here and this is how it looks when mounted in Upro. Okay, I think you see the difference. It's much brighter, much cl more clear. Okay, you see more details. Okay. Because Uprol has a clearing action. Okay, yeah. Um, so this is basically uh, the reason why Uprol has certain um, advantages. Now, if you still want to use um, still wants to use a, a, a non-clearing mounting medium. Um, in this case, you have to kind of bleach them and there are certain ways how you can do that. But I, I just wanted to show you again the difference here. So this one is mounted in Upro and uh, these here um, are, where are they again? I have to find them. Here, these are mounted in glue. You see they're much darker, yeah? Because the glue is not clearing, yeah? That's a huge difference, yeah, that's the comment, yeah? So, and that's uh, what I wanted to say. You see, um, uh, you have to kind of uh, adjust the mounting medium to the, to the type of specimen, yeah? Uh, but Uprol is not suitable for other specimens uh, because uh, um, it contains a solvent uh, and uh, there are some pigments uh, that uh, are dissolved if you actually mount them in, in Uprol. You see, um, so that's, uh, that means um, there is no one single mounting medium that fits all purposes, okay? So, uh, but uh, you know what I'm just gonna do now because I've been talking and talking and talking um, quite a bit now, I'm just gonna start uh, doing the following. Um, yeah, I mean, basically making making a, a, a permanent mount is, is not such a big deal, okay? Um, so the, there are two uh, mites in here and uh, those uh, two mites uh, are now in alcohol. Um, I, uh, I had it in hydrogen peroxide um, for over 24 hours in the hope that this is going to bleach them a little bit. Okay, um, I didn't see a big change in color. Um, and then I removed the hydrogen peroxide by washing it with water and then I added alcohol and then I took the alcohol out and I added new alcohol again. Yeah, and I'm gonna mount them in Uperol, why not? And usually it takes a few hours or maybe a day until the clearing action starts, yeah? So it won't uh, be uh, bright uh, right away, yeah? So um, here, this is Uperol, it has a, it smells nice, uh, like like uh, 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 fresh, you know, like the smell of, of, of freshly cut trees, the tree sap, you know, of, of certain pine trees and so on. It, it, yeah, it's, it smells like that. So I put a small drop um, on here, okay? Um, and um, I will take out, um, yeah, one of those mites here in the hope that I'm able to get them without, uh, yeah, here it is, uh, without uh, destroying them too much. And the nice thing here is, is I am able to put it directly from the alcohol into the Uprol. Okay, this is not possible if you use those resin-based uh, media like UKIT or Canada Balsam, yeah, where, yeah, this is yeah, not gonna work, yeah. But uh, Uprol is able to accept, um, is able to accept uh, um, specimens directly uh, from alcohol. And as a matter of fact, I've been thinning, thinning down the Uprol a little bit by adding a few drops of alcohol. There is a separate solvent that you can buy as well. Uprol Essence, they call it, but I added a little bit of alcohol and this also works. So um, what I'm gonna do now is, is uh, I'm going to use one of those round cover glasses you can of course use square cover glasses as well. They're cheaper, the square ones. And um, I use a, yeah. this uh, here, it is for cleaning eyeglasses. And I usually wipe it as well a little bit here. Now you can see it because sometimes there's a little bit of grime and then and, and, I don't know, some dirt on it. And then um, I simply drop it on here. And at the same time, hoping that the <laughs> mite uh, stays re reasonably well in the center. and. Uh, you can see that the capillary action will actually also pull the, yeah, 
the mounting medium um, to the side. I don't know, it's kind of difficult to see. Here it's all difficult to see, yeah? But uh, sometimes it's also possible to kind of press it down a little bit. Um, and I have not used very much mounting medium right now. Um, so you see, I don't know if you're able to see it, but um, actually there is a still air over here. Um, why am I um, yeah, using so little mounting medium? There is a reason because normally I have to now leave it like this for about six weeks, okay? Um, but of course we wanna watch it under the microscope now, okay? Um, and there is, um, uh, yeah, I already once made the mistake that I actually rotated one of my microscope objectives into the mounting medium and then I had to, uh, had a difficult job cleaning the objective, yeah? So I've used very little mounting medium right now so, so that no mounting medium spills uh, to the outside and I'm only going to use low magnification right now to actually look, um, to look at this, okay? So let's have a look at this, scene microscope again um, and it's Upro, okay? And um, let's see how bright it is. If it is not bright, it will turn bright after a day. It takes some time for the mounting medium to kind of infiltrate the specimen and to clear it. But maybe if it is already clear, then this is a sign that uh, actually the hydrogen peroxide um, actually started to work. I have to now find the center here a little. I have to find it now, the, the mite. Here it is. Okay, ah, there's a dust fiber as well. Okay. Uh, the string that you see some some dust yeah, and you see well mm, yeah it's kind of dark still okay it's kind of dark still let me try to yeah, I can play around with the filters here no nah, the effect is not so big yeah. um, but um, it will clear up after a day yeah um, sometimes if there is still air inside the mite or inside the organism then because of the refractive index difference it will also remain dark okay ah yes there is another comment over here we use Hoyer's medium in the lab that I work. It's also bleaches arthropods. We use it mainly to make tardigrade preparations, but I also use it uh, on the occasional mites I found in the sample. Hoyer's solution. <laughs> yes, not allowed in many countries. Uh, yeah, I have to say this. Uh, you gotta um, uh, check, uh, because, uh, but uh, maybe uh, it's possible in lab. Yes, Hoyer's solution has been used. Um, or maybe as we see, is used uh, by um, uh, in preparation of microscope slides. But a little bit of research actually I found out that in, in my country where I am and in some other countries, it is not allowed. Um, so because it is actually, uh, if you inhale it or if you take it in, it, yeah, it's not, not good. Apparently it acts like a drug, okay? Um, so you have to um, use it uh, under proper ventilation, but in the lab situation, and of course, it's something different than, than at home. Yeah? I'm just saying that not all of the substances um, um, that, yeah, um, that are used in the lab are always available um, in, in all of the countries. I know Hoyer's solution has been an issue um, uh, because uh, yeah, I've uh, then done a little bit of research and then uh, there were some other clearing media that were sold um, in replacement of Hoyer's solution because Hoyer's solution was is, con is a controlled substance um, in some countries, okay? Um, so, okay, just wanted to make this uh, uh, yeah, clear as well. Um, yeah, but the clearing in, is an issue, um, something I did not try yet, but I want to do still, is this I want to try evidently clearing with hydrogen peroxide did not work very well, but it is apparently possible to clear arthropods also using potassium hydroxide solution of 5% um, and or lactic acid. Both of these things I did not try yet, okay? So this is now uh, the, yeah, one with uh, the um, yeah, Uperol and um, yeah, I've got still so many other samples here, but the problem is I'm gonna forget what this is and how I actually, uh, what medium mounting medium I used. So um, I usually do the following. Yeah, you might want to, yeah. Uh, again, I use PowerPoint for this and I usually glue it on using a, yeah, a glue stick. And uh, yeah, let, let me try this here first. Um, okay, you get the idea. Um, there are also some self uh, uh, sticky, yeah, which you can hand label. It's also a possibility. Yeah, it's another comment. Uh, uh, a bit late, so I scrolled back and won't be up to date with the chat. Really enjoy your content. Yes, yeah, um, okay. So, um, and of course, you wanted to know what it is, um, and uh. Here, that's a Varroa mite. 
in, yeah, in case you uh, want to know how I got those Varroa mites, they were a present from one of my students. I made a video in my main channel, um, which I just published today. And you might want, want to check it out. And uh, yeah, because uh, they have a beehive, not only one, but many of them, because they're commercial honey producers. And uh, many uh, people who keep bees, uh, the Varroa mite is a problem. Okay, so this is kind of a now ready to be stored horizontally now for about six weeks um, and then the mounting medium uh, the upro mounting medium is is kind of yeah solid and then basically it should store pretty much forever so i'm going to put this out of the way okay so this was a short demonstration of of upro so um why not try something different um you look what i got here and uh here I'm going to, um, I decided it looks like powder. I'm going to make three of them here. Why not? Yeah. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to compare all three mounting media. This uh, powder, it looks like flour. It's not, it's called diatomaceous earth. Um, some time ago, I also made a video of this. It must have already been, I don't know, last year, maybe several months ago. I bought this online. Um, and it's, it's sold as a food supplement. People actually eat this stuff, uh, honestly. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks like uh, like a powder. And these are fossilized diatoms. Yeah, um, this is actually has been used. Uh, I'm not I'm, I'm not making this up. It has many uses. Uh, they used to put it into toothpaste uh, because it's an abrasive, kind of for cleaning. Um, it's used even in dynamite. Um, they used uh, the guy Alfred Nobel who invented dynamite, and then later on he uh, funded the Nobel Prize. Um, what he mixed nitroglycerin, which is very explosive, um, with uh, diatomaceous earth um, to stabilize it. And um, yeah, and now they sell it even as a food supplement. Uh, and um, but I want to put this under the microscope because it also kind of looks nice uh, because you're able to see the diatom shells. Yeah, uh, used in pool filters a lot. Yes, uh, a comment here. Okay, um, and in pool filters, yes, because it has a li large surface area. And um, I've, of course, in the afternoon already tried it. And I just want to show that essentially all of the three mounting media work. OK, so uh, what I'm going to do here is the following. I need now. Um, yeah, I've got some toothpicks here. OK, and uh, I'm just going to transfer a little bit of the stuff here. Ah, that's way too much. OK, a little bit here. And here. I think this is way too much. What I'm going to do now. Just going to remove some of it. I'm just going to clean it up later. So, okay. Um, and uh, the first one I'm just going to use, why not? Uh, I'm just going to use Elmer's glue. Okay. So uh, this is a water-based uh, mount, mounting medium, as I say. <laughs> okay. A little bit of glue here. Okay. And um, I'm going to use uh, the toothpick uh, to uh, kind of um, mix it a little bit because this breaks apart the clusters. Uh, it's kind of thick, uh, so maybe um, it would be a good idea to thin it down a little bit. Okay, this could be a, um, yeah, also a possibility. And it's easy, you just add a little bit of water to thin it down a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw the toothpick away. Where am I gonna throw it? To over here, because I don't want to mix the mounting media. Yeah, here, um, cover glass again, I should wipe it. Okay. I broke it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here, here we go. There are two of them. Okay. You want to see this? How I wipe it as well. Yeah. And I place it on top here. Um, capillary action is going to yeah cause the uh, glue to spread, but you can help a little bit by carefully pressing down here. Okay. The second one I'm going to use. Why not? Um, Upral. Let me prepare the. The cover glasses first. Okay. Second one, I'm going to use Upril, the one that we have already seen. Okay. This one is a little bit more liquid because I recently um, added some alcohol here and uh, it spreads a little bit better. And let's mix it a little bit to break apart the clusters. This is, might not be very much uh, mounting medium. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe too little, doesn't matter. And uh, drop it on here again. And the last one, um, yeah, is this one over here where I have to hold my breath because I don't want to inhale too much of this. 
um, yeah, I had a larger bottle and then I filled it in here. My mistake because there's no pipette now, okay? So this is a little bit the, um, the issue. It actually also smells, ah, it also smells kind of nice really, but you don't want to smell it. So let's, here we go. Let me quickly up, close this again here. It might be, ah, ah, not good, okay. Might be a little bit too much here. I'm going to put this also away up. Uh, sticky. And uh, not very nice, as you can see here. Um, usually what I do is, uh, yeah, if uh, some of the mounting medium spills out beneath the cover glass, it doesn't matter. I just let it dry and then later on I use a sharp uh, tool, sharp knife to scratch it off, okay? As long as there is not too much uh, on here, um, it'll be fine because I'll, yeah. So um, I'm going to put it now under the microscope um, and then we're going to have a look at this. Um, I already forgot the first one was, uh, I think, glued and Uperol and then the um, U-Kit. So let's uh, put it under the microscope. Okay. Let's see. Uh, here, the first one is the one over here. Okay, um, I need to focus. And close the condenser a little bit. Let's go up with the light intensity. Um, uh, wrong filter, here, here we go. A whole bunch of bubbles. Why, why don't I see my, why don't I see it better? Uh, used to I used to see it better before. Let me go up with the magnification. Um, ah yeah. Here we start. Here we go. You see those tiny little boxes? Yeah, these are the yeah the bubbles. Forget it. Ignore those. Those tiny little boxes that you see. These are the diatom shells okay um, I feel a little bit reluctant going up to 40 times but uh, here you see them much better okay so this one is now the yeah the one with the glue okay so, okay so there is a, a comment or question how do I permanently mount a leaf you gotta cut it hmm that's number one you have to cut the leaf, uh, you have to dehydrate the leaf, um, or you can try to mount it directly now into the Elmer's glue, um, this one over here, because it's, it's water-based. Um, but you cannot uh, simply put the whole leaf on, on the slide because it's too thick, okay? Unless, unless it's a very thin leaf, like maybe a leaf uh, from, from a water plant, okay? So this is basically the first one. Um, I'm going to move over now. Here, this is, is the one, for the second one, I have to refocus it a little bit, yeah, you see? This one is the one in Uperol. Yeah, you also see that there's this di yeah, the diatoms, diatom shells. Yeah, so you see it also works. And the last one is the one mounted in U-Kit. And here the density is a little too high because I, had, I, I got too many of those. But you see that it also works here. The last, uh, so there was a, a question. Hi, what was the last medium you used? Got it a little late, got to see you, okay. Um, so I used uh, the, th the yeah, if you just look in, in the corner um, over here, uh, yeah, there are three, that's the middle one and that's the first one. The first one over here um, was Elmer's glue. It's a PVA glue, it's a water-based glue, which um, yeah, also works, yeah. Then the second one uh, was Uporal mounting medium. Okay, that's the middle one. The one that I, um, you, uh, you normally use to mount uh, little tiny arthropods and insects and mites. And the last one, this one over here, um, yeah, um, is U-Kit, is a resin-based mounting medium, um, which only works if the specimen is completely water-free. Yeah? And it contains a solvent, xylene, so you better not uh, inhale it too much. Yeah? So yeah, uh, the, the idea is over here, um, and this kind of the purpose of, of here is, is it doesn't really matter so much which mounting medium you use here because the specimen is dry anyway. Um, it is this diatomaceous earth, uh, so there is no problem with the water um, getting involved here, okay? So I'll um, 
take it out again because I don't like if a slide with still wet mounting medium is is in there. Okay, so yeah, so here it is basically how it looks like. Uh, difficult to see uh, that there are three cover glasses on top here. Okay, so uh, we move on um, a little bit. Um, so I've got something else I want to try. Um, very difficult um, to mount. Let me quickly wipe uh, the diatomaceous earth away. I always have a little water bottle here. So, because I don't want to have the dust flying around in my, my room here. So, this here, uh, algae, this is, um, which I got from uh, a, a little jar that I've got. Um, those algae are difficult specimens to mount uh, because um, if you want to make a permanent mount, then you have to no dehydrate them. Um, and then they start to shrink and they start to lose their shape, um, especially water organisms, maybe algae less than other water organisms, they're kind of very delicate. I mean, at least they have, they have a cell wall which kind of maintains their shape. But if I now were to use um, mounting media that uh, basically are resin based and, and mixed directly with a wet specimen, then what's going to happen is the following is, is that um, the mounting medium is going to dry out from the outside inwards and um, the inside is still wet uh, and the water is not able to escape. Yeah, so it's still moist in there and if it's moist in there then there's the problem that bacteria might start to decompose the specimen and then when bacteria start to decompose things there might be decomposition gases forming and these bubbles they can expand and and actually pop the cover glass off again. Yeah. So actually it's gonna be completely dry uh, when I mount it, but if I make it dry, it's gonna shrink. So that's a problem. If I were to mount it now in Eupural mounting medium, which contains alcohol, um, at least I thinned it down with alcohol here, then there we have a problem here that the alcohol or the solvent um, will dissolve the chlorophyll. And uh, I've tried this already before, um, and um, then basically what will happen is the pigment will kind of run out of the specimen. Yeah? So for uh, those um, water organisms which cannot be completely dry, uh, what they've been using is a, a mounting medium called glycerin jelly, glycerol gelatin, which is glycerol um, and gel uh, gelatin and, and water, and you have to warm it up then the gelatin melts. If you warm it up too much, then the gelatin breaks and it won't turn hard in anymore. <laughs> so it's difficult to use. And then, um, then you're able to mount delicate water organisms. Okay, um, I'm, I'm not doing that, um, um, but rather um, I'd like to use now on a specimen which contains water, I'm gonna use a water-based mounting medium. Okay, so, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, again, I'm going to take a little um, specimen sample and I'm, yeah, it's still a little bit wet. And I put a, put it in here and I have to kind of spread it apart a little bit. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna take some of it away to make sure it's very thin. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna add some of this glue here. As a matter of fact, I've done this two days ago as well. And I'm gonna show you then a slide which is two days old of exactly the same algae, okay? Yeah, and uh, yeah, here, I'm just gonna use the glue, drop of glue. Yeah. So you see it's uh, still moist. Now see, um, I kind of some of the glue on the side here, maybe too much glue on here. But you see the nice thing about water-based glues is, is that it can be removed quite easily. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, as the glue kind of spread, it also pushed to the algae a little bit to the side. And uh, yeah, you still have to wait. Uh, actually, I would say a few weeks because what I've seen is, is that it will start to dry on the outside first. Um, and then the inside will still remain liquid for some time. Okay but it doesn't matter. Let's have a look at it under the microscope. Okay. And uh, let's see how well this works. Yeah, here it is. Uh, some bubbles here. Let's go up uh, 20 times. Yeah. And uh, yeah, here are the algae. Yeah. 
and they look pretty normal there's not a lot of shrinking going on shrinkage going on uh, the green the green pigment does not uh, yeah is not dissolved away yeah. um actually i tried doing this also with uh, paramecia <laughs> they didn't like the glue okay so the paramecia obviously yeah they they also popped open yeah so there is another comment yeah Ah, yes, uh, that glycerol gelatin has uh, phenol commonly used with large zoology and uh, cadaver specimens. They added a, a phenol or uh, some other substance to the glycerin gelatin to prevent it from turning moldy. It's a preservative. Yeah? Because otherwise, the glycerin jelly, if you don't add phenol or some other preservative, uh, it will actually uh, yeah, turn moldy. Yeah? And uh, it's so... So this is basically the one that I'm, I've uh, got right now. And uh, I'm just going to show you now if I just find it. Where is it? Yeah, that's the one that I uh, made a few days ago. Yeah. And so it's already a little bit more dried. And uh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, you, I think you get the idea. So this is uh, basically um, yeah thing here. Uh, you know what I could try just because I've never tried it. Uh, I'm going to now um, use um, just for the fun of it. I'm going to uh, use now maybe um, an incompatible mounting medium now. And now I know that Upril is able to uh, tolerate a little bit of water, but Ukit is not able to tolerate any water. Okay, I don't know, I've, I've, uh, I'm going to do something illegal right now. Um, I'm going to simply take um, a moist, wet, water-containing specimen here. Okay. And I'm going to now add uh, some of the UKIT medium, which is completely incompatible. Because UKIT uh, is a resin-based medium which requires a, a, yeah, a solvent. Let me quickly wipe this again. And I'm going to pick out the U kit with um, some toothpicks again. Yeah. So again, this is an incompatible medium, and never tried it. Um, if you want to do that, then you have to at least wait until the algae has dried. I'm not doing this deliberately, not. Okay because I want to see what happens. Maybe it's not as bad as I anticipate. Here, here is the cover glass. But usually what happens is after some time there is some clouding going on. Um, and yeah. so let's immediately close it again here. Okay, so it's now you kit uh, with uh, moist algae, something that you don't want to do because it's not going to store well. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Hmm. Looks a little bit darker. This probably has to do something with a difference of a refractive index. Yeah, but it also doesn't quite look quite as nice. Yeah. Look, there's on the surface. Uh, I think what ha what you see over here, I don't know, I, I have to guess right now where, where I'm pointing. Do you see over here, there is this layer sometimes on the surface. This could be, um, it could be maybe a, a thin layer of water, yeah, uh, which is not able to escape. Yeah? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, it looks like something is covering them. There is a, is, 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 is a, com a comment here. Yeah, and it, it could actually be the water, which uh, basically is not able to escape. And uh, the, the hydrophobic mounting medium is not able to reach the, uh, the algae. Yeah? Um, so this is actually then, yeah, it actually shows that the, the mounting medium is not properly able to preserve it. Yeah. So this is, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is kind of the, the reason, yeah, yeah, and, and sometimes, yeah, it, yeah, indeed, it looks like there is some kind of a, a covering. Yeah, and maybe maybe that's the moisture. Yeah. 
But in any case, I think you see the difference that if uh, if it's not the right mounting medium, then you have a, a little bit of a of a, of a problem. It, now it could be, you know, just for the fun of it. You know what? I'm I'm gonna now try mounting it um, also in um, not in U kit but in U parole, uh, which contains alcohol. Yeah. Um, also not ideal. So I'm going to yeah, make it uh, uh, take a small sample here again. Just gonna put it over here. And let's see what happens now. Uh, if I add a small amount of U-Pearl mount, oh, you didn't see this, oh, you didn't see this. Sorry, forgot to switch over, okay? Okay, so, um, so I put some algae over here now as well. I'm going to add now the alcohol containing U-Pearl. And uh, again, uh, an incompatible mounting medium because Uprol and UKIT don't like water too much. So, yeah, let's press it down again a little bit. And let's see how this looks like. I need to switch over to the microscope view. So this is still the other one. And this is now the Upro. Where is it? Yeah, you see there are all these weird bubbles. Yeah, so it doesn't mix properly either with the water. Yeah. And maybe if I wait a little bit longer, maybe I'm actually able to see also that, uh, that they, it will lose some of the pigments as the alcohol starts to dissolve. Yeah. A yeah, little bit. So the point of this demonstration is, is, is to actually show you that for those algae, the glue works best. Yeah, and you get the nicest, uh, you get the nicest results. You see, it also looks like something is covering it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the previous seems better than this mounting medium for algae. Yeah, the previous one. Um, so this is uh, the Upro. Uh, uh, this one over here is U-Kit. The completely, uh, the completely uh, hydrophobic one, and uh, over here, I think the best one still is is, is the glue that I have here, which is water based. Where is it? Yeah, where 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 is more? So that's the water based mounting medium. Yeah, I, I think you you do see uh, quite a big uh, yeah. Um, yeah, comment here. The glue has been holding up so well against the quote professional mounting media. Lol. Yes. Uh, well, the thing is the following. Um, this glue is uh, PVA, a polyvinyl acetate or polyvinyl alcohol. And as a matter of fact, PVA is indeed also a quote a professional mounting medium, which you can buy. But luckily, it's all also available cheaply in glue. Yeah, so that's kind of the nice thing. So um, it has this big advantage of easy uh, availability. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So this kind of to, to so this was kind of again uh, a demonstration to show that the best mounting medium really um, depends quite a bit um, on the specimen that you want to mount. Okay. Um, so yeah, for insects we've seen and, and small mites. Uh, arthropods, uh, uh, the Uprol is, is the best because it has this clearing tendency for um, specimens that are moist. Um, the the water-based uh, mounting medium is the best. Yeah, so you see there is um, yeah many many things that uh, where you can um, where you can experiment uh, around with. Okay, so uh, you know what? Um, yeah, just just for the fun of it. I mean, the last one that I have here is. Yeah, I've got some dust here, some house dust, you know. Um, yeah, w why not? Why not simply do the following? Look, when I'm... because uh, I don't want to look at the fibers because the fibers they cover so many things. Just want to look at this, yeah, here. And because it is, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter which one I um, I use now. It's dry anyway. So I might as well, I don't know, if you use anyone, I'm just, who cares? Because uh, if it's dry, there is no water present. Yeah, I'm not gonna wipe it now because I'm lazy. Uh, 
Uh, what I have seen, however, um, as well is, is that sometimes uh, later on some bubbles might appear because as the glue starts to shrink, but the tendency is not very strong. Yeah? So uh, I was actually quite happy with the results so far. So I'm gonna uh, switch over again to the microscope view. I'm gonna remove those here. See, I didn't put any labels on it, so I already forgot what was what. <laughs> and uh, here, this is the dust. I have not tried this before yet, so it's no idea what to expect. Yeah, I don't know, some dust fibers. Maybe I'm able to find some pollen. I have no idea. No, doesn't look very interesting. I guess I'd have to have a closer look. Sometimes I was able to uh, to find also the scales of butterfly flies. Okay, um, the pollen sometimes. You, especially during springtime. Maybe some sand grains uh, from a distant and remote storm, dust storm. Yeah, but over here I'm not able to identify a lot of things. Some of the fibers, textile fibers, dust fibers, you get the idea. Usually sometimes it's uh, it's quite fun because you just uh, basically put uh, some dust under, under it and then you kind of try to find, for example, pollen grains or, yeah, or as I mentioned, the scales of, of uh, the scales of, 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 of butterflies and so on. Depends a little bit on where you are and how often you, you clean your desk. Yeah. yeah, but you get the idea, okay? Yeah, um, you know what? Last but not least, because I do have a, another specimen or just it doesn't matter. Mounting a slide is so fast anyway now. Just gonna put them somewhere because it's so sticky that I don't want to touch anything here. Um, so last one, last but not least. Um, look what I got here. I'm gonna cut it off here, just a second. Need to take my scissors up because I'm gonna be throwing it away before I throw it away. I'm going to, ah, here we go. <laughs> so because uh, there are some anthers over here um, with, uh, with some pollen. So what I'm gonna do now is, is uh, because these are also kind of delicate, um, yeah, why not also try, try the glue. Yeah. Um, normally for mounting pollen, what you use is you use glycerin jelly um, with a formulation according to Kissa, Kissa's glycerin jelly or glycerol gelatin. This is, uh, there is an official standard recipe for mounting pollen because they are very sensitive. Um, if uh, they dry out, then they shrink. If there's too much water in them, then they start to swell up, they change their shape. Yeah? And uh, if you try to dry them, then they will look uh, quite different again from when they're moist. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna hold it up here right now. I'm going to up, oh, still got some dust on the tweezers. So I'm gonna use this here and Wait, I can't get it here. Oh, it's, it's too much. So, up, oh, I dropped it. Yeah, the pollen is gone. I need to pick another one. Here it is. So, and I'm just going to do it the cheap and easy way. I'm just gonna dip the anther, move it over a little bit. I'm just gonna dip the anther into the glue we hope that some of the pollen comes off. And uh, cover glass on top. Yeah, some, some of it's still on the top. Press down. And I don't know. I have to see. I have to see. If not, you get the idea. Hmm. It's a little bit out of focus here. Ah, a pollen grain here, <laughs> a lonely one. Uh, that, that's a pollen, I, I, yeah, here's another one. I, I, I did this already uh, today in the afternoon, so I know how they look like. Yeah. And then you'd have to watch them, whether they are changing their shape based uh, uh, when they dry. Yeah. Yeah, just wanted to 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 show you that sometimes it's it's quite uh, quite easy to make uh, 
to make those mounts, okay? So, wow, I've been talking again uh, now, how long? Uh, is it now already? Yeah, it's almost an hour, uh, again, an, already an hour, okay? Um, so what I can recommend uh, is, is that you simply try out the things yourself. Um, um, I can, for those of you who joined in, um, in late, a, a short summary. Um, what I've been using, I've been using Elmer's uh, water-based glue, which uh, is a PVA, which I kind of like a lot. Um, Upro mounting medium over here um, is uh, used uh, for mounting small insects and arthropods. Uh, U-Kit is a very modern resin-based mounting medium, very fast drying, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, um, and one other mounting medium that I recommend that you try is clear nail polish. Um, as well, but again, clear nail polish. Um, the specimen must be dry or it must be also in acetone, in a solvent or a nail polish remover, then you can also mount it directly. Um, I've also showed you that uh, if the mounting medium and the specimen is not compatible, then it it won't look quite nice all the time. Yeah? And uh, therefore there is no single best mounting medium. And unfortunately, some mounting media are a little bit difficult to obtain or expensive. If you want to get those, you have to uh, contact the chemical supplies company. They can be bought. They are available, um, but uh, usually over, uh, only over specialized shops. So you won't get them over Amazon, for example. Yeah? Uh, exception again, um, yeah, the, those, those glues here. Yeah, which I got. Yeah. So this is basically all I wanted to, to show you today. Um, hope it was again interesting. Uh, um, after a day or so, uh, the chat uh, will be then also visible um, in, uh, in YouTube. Uh, it's not visible right away. Um, you can also, of course, po post comments. And if other people are joining in and watching the video sometime later on, then um, yeah, do please also leave uh, behind your comments. Uh, and maybe we can share some of the experiences. And another thing is, is yeah, um, it is possible to modify the recipes uh, here. And it is possible to mix in a little bit of glycerin. And if you do a little bit of online research, you will actually find information on this because there are official um, recipes. Um, and But I was not successful. Um, I mixed in the glycerin and it did not uh, uh, turn solid anymore. So maybe I used too much glycerin. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just some ideas. Um, Plenty of things to experiment around. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and uh, yeah, so far, all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always. Yeah? And uh, see, you around, uh, see you around next time. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. So I need to somehow turn it off. Bye.